Okay. Okay. Uh, a police officer has been injured in a serious crash at Fulham Gardens. Just after 7.30am this morning, a police uh, motorcycle and a Toyota Hilux collided on Grange Road at Fulham Gardens. The injured officer was taken by uh, ambulance to the Royal Adelaide Hospital. The driver of the Hilux was not injured in the collision. We have received an update uh, from the hospital on the injured officer's condition. He has sustained serious um, and significant injuries to his arms and to his head. But we are thankful that his injuries are not life-threatening. I'd like to thank several members of the public for their assistance when they stopped and rendered assistance to our colleague. I'd also like to thank the paramedics and hospital staff for their assistance and their professionalism. Our thoughts are with our injured colleague at this time um, and he is with his family at the hospital. Major crash investigators are investigating this accident and police would like to hear from any witnesses who may have not already spoken to police. They can please call uh, Crime Stoppers on uh, 1800 333 000 or crimestoppersa.com.au and provide us with their details. Thank you. What did police know about the circumstances surrounding the crash so far? So what we know is, is that the uh, investigation is very much in its early stages. We understand it to be a general um, traffic incident uh, rather than any poli specific police duty. Um, and uh, as a result of that, the officer has been injured uh, and he's been taken to the Royal Adelaide Hospital. The fire was an occasion of pursuit. So the information we have at the, at the early stage of this investigation is definitely not a pursuit, okay? so we can rule that out right off the cuff. Um, uh, but we understand it to be a general traffic incident, but we'll look into that further just in case uh, it was a traffic stop or something else. But we'll hold an open mind on that, but it's definitely not a pursuit. Where were the two vehicles positioned? Did the Hilux come across the bike or were they both travelling in the same direction? Can you just describe? Yeah, so it, would, it is what we would call a rear end collision. So the, the, the motorcycle, the police motorcycle, has collided in the rear of the Hilux. So could it be the police motorcyclist was at fault? So we, we uh, will look at all the circumstances around the collision and that will be subject to the major crash investigation. Was there any suggestion that the Hilux had suddenly braked sharply before the accident? Uh, so th those full, all those circumstances will form the investigation. Um, we uh, are looking at CCTV footage that might be available from the police officer and also uh, other vehicles or other businesses in that area. And we're also asking for any witnesses to come forward and, and let us know, if they haven't already done so, of what they've seen. Will you look at press and charges? We'll look at uh, what is... We, we will look, investigate, we'll investigate the matter and um, if charges are appropriate, whether it's against the police officer or the, the other driver, then we'll do what's appropriate. How long has the officer been in the police force? So he's an experienced police officer. Um, he has, um, he's been in the, police officer for, in the police force for many years. So he has a great deal of experience. And how old is he, sir? So he's 44. And was he on general traffic patrol at the time? Yeah, so he's just on general traffic patrol. He'd commenced his duty and he was just carrying out his, um, his duty as a traffic police officer on a motorcycle and he was looking actually at the time at um, priority roads, those roads that are dangerous due you to collisions. there were people who um, came to his aid at the time. Were there many people around who saw this happen? Yeah, so um, it's my understanding that we've spoken to several witnesses, but we'd always be happy to hear from anyone else who has not yet spoken to police. Um, but um, several members of the public uh, provided assistance straight away to the officer. Uh, it was quite clear that he was in a bad way and that um, uh, um, other members of the public and then ambulance officers provided that first aid. And what about the driver of the Hilux? Um, is that driver male or female? The driver of the Hilux is a male and he's been cooperating with police. And did yeah. he help the officer as well? It's my understanding he did as well, yes. Was there anyone else in his car at the time? I'm not aware of that, yeah. yeah. This stretch of road, a couple of neighbours have said it's pretty renowned for people flying down it because there's a few cameras previously and no more cameras to the beach. Yeah. Is it known to police as a dangerous section of road? Look, Grange Road is a, is a road that we are aware of and we police quite frequently. It's, it's actually discussed, these types of roads that uh, frequent collisions occur are, are discussed in our daily meetings about where we deploy our staff and Grange Road does come up. But we also have to be aware, also with Grange Road, there's significant control measures that have gone into that with cameras, 
uh, with speed humps, with 50k zones. Um, so there's quite a significant amount of control measures in that area, but we also still police it. What sort of age was the driver of the Hilux? Like he wasn't a key player? Or I anything? don't have that information, no. Okay. Yep. How does this sort of um, incident affect um, the police force in general, his colleagues? Oh, look, um, the nature of policing can at times be uh, dangerous. I think everyone is aware of that, um, whether it is uh, dealing with um, angry people or just the fact that we are out in traffic every day. So for general duties police and tra for traffic police, um, sometimes their role as police officers put them at harm's way, and that's what's happened today. We'll look into the circumstances around what's caused that, but... Um, you know, we, we are very uh, concerned about our member. Uh, we're very concerned about our colleague. Um, we understand that he, he will... Um, uh, he, he, his condition is serious um, and uh, he has suffered significant injuries, but he's also in very good care at the Royal Adelaide Hospital and, we, and we're thankful for that. Uh, and his family is with him, his father and his mother and his son are with him and his other family members. Uh, he's got an auntie there who's got some experience with hospitals and she's been of great help. So we're really appreciative for how they're dealing with him as well. Has he been able to give an account of what's happening? Well, we've not pushed him for that. Our concern is for his welfare um, and for his treatment. And, and the hospital staff have been outstanding, not only in their professional care, but in their communication. Really couldn't have asked for anything more. What rank is he? He's a senior constable. And which station is he based at? So traffic support branch. So he's a traffic support branch member and he's assigned to um, motorcycle police duties. And is he likely to remain in hospital for a while? Yes. Any other questions, folks? Or... Can I ask a question? 